Well, bed bugs continue to infest Baltimore homes, apartments, and even some hotels. For the second year in a row, Baltimore is named the worst city in the nation for bed bugs. WJZ is live. Devin Bartolotta with what exterminators are saying about the problem. Devin? That's right, Mary. These bugs can carry disease. They can bite you while you sleep, and they waste no time spreading from room to room, even apartment to apartment. It's an accolade no city wants on its resume. Orkin Pest Control ranking Baltimore the worst city in the country for bed bugs for the second year in a row. The numbers that we use are based on residential and commercial new starts. So it's homes, uh, apartments, uh, hotels, office buildings, theater, anything that we do. Orkin manager Kenneth McDowell tells WJZ it's thanks to lots of tourism and lots of apartments. That's where exterminators see the worst infestations. I've been in some apartments that are just completely covered with blood smears and stains on the wall. Well, people smash them on the wall and they're just, they, they splatter and the blood's there and people live with them for a very, very long time. These tiny blood-sucking hitchhikers travel fast, and the fix can be frustrating, expensive, and even destructive. Last month, 10 people in Cincinnati, Ohio, were left homeless when a woman trying to kill bed bugs with alcohol set the house ablaze. And in the same city, six apartments were destroyed when a teenager tried to light a bed bug on fire. The professionals say stay vigilant, but leave the creepy crawly cleanup to them. The first thing I would do is call a professional. Bed bugs are not something to fool around with. They now, there were fewer calls to Orkin for bed bugs last year than the year before. However, Baltimore still remains the worst city for it in the nation. Back to you. Devin, thank you. The experts say catching bed bugs early is the key to keeping them out of your home.